Welcome to EC Limu Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed the introductory part of equilibrium and center of gravity. And we defined the center of gravity as a point where the whole weight of a body appear to act from. Then we determine the center of gravity of a meter roll and we said the COG of a meter roll act at its 50 centimeter mark. Now in this lesson, we are going to discuss how to determine the center of gravity of other regular shapes like rectangles, squares, then we have spheres, cylinders, and many others. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to determine the center of gravity of regular shapes. And the first regular shape that we are going to begin with is a square and a rectangle plate. If you want to determine the center of gravity of a square of or a rectangular plate, what you do, you will construct diagonals of the square that you have or the rectangle that you have. Like in this case, if we begin with a square, remember a square has all the four sides which are equal. Then in this case, if this side equals this side equals this side and that side, then you, for you to determine the center of gravity, you will construct diagonals which will be running across like that. Then you construct another diagonal like that. Now, where they meet at this middle, where these two diagonals meet, that will be the C or G. And then for a rectangle, remember in a rectangle, two sides of a rectangle are equal and two others are also equal so in this case if this is equal to this one then this is equal to this one then now for you to determine the center of gravity then you will draw diagonals which will be running from that end to the other end then from this side also you draw a diagonal which will be running like that now where these two diagonals meet that is the c or g of that rectangle and if you want to determine or to test if that is the real COH of that object, then you will put this COH or that point on the tip of a needle or a very sharp pencil. It will balance out. Another regular shape that we want to determine, it is center of gravity, is a triangular plate. And if you want to determine the center of gravity of a triangular plate, then you will construct a perpendicular bisector of the sides of the triangle. Like in this case, if you have a triangle like this one here, then now what you do, you will construct perpendicular bisectors. Perpendicular bisectors, it means it's a bisector which forms 90 degrees at that side. So in this case, the first perpendicular bisector will be at this point here, 90 degrees. Then the second perpendicular bisector will be from this point here, 90 degrees. Then the third perpendicular bisector will be from this point to that point there, also 90 degrees. Now, where these perpendicular bisectors meet, this is your C or G. And if you balance it out on the tip of a pencil, it will balance and that will be the center of gravity. And that is where the weight of that triangular plate Act. The third regular shape that we want to determine it is center of gravity is a circular plate. And if you have a circular plate like that and you want to determine it is center of gravity, then you will construct a diameter through the center of this circular plate. And the diameter runs through the center. If this is the center of this uh, circular plate, then the di one diameter will run like that. Then you will construct another diameter like that. Now, you can construct as many diameters as possible. All of them will pass at this center. So this one will be the C or G. And if you want to test this, you will balance it at the tip of a pencil. It will balance out. and That is where the weight of that circular plate will act. The fourth shape is a cylinder. And if you want to determine the center of gravity of a cylinder, then you will take your cylinder which looks like this, which has two circular sides, that is the top and the bottom. Then in this case, what you do, you will construct a diameter at the top circle. 
and another diameter at the bottom circle. Then now what you do, you will construct a diagonal which will be running from one end to the other end of this cylinder like that. So when this cylinder is viewed from above, where these two diagonals intersect, that will be the C or G of that cylinder. And if you want to balance it out, then at this point, you can put your tip or a pencil there or an end sharp object, then what you will realize, it will balance out. The fifth shape is a sphere. And for a sphere, which looks like this, this is your sphere, and you want to determine it is center of gravity, then what you do, you just draw two diameters. You draw one diameter running like that through the center of this sphere. Then you draw another diameter running like that through this sphere. Now, where these two diameters intersect, that will be the C or G of that sphere or that spherical object that you have. The sixth one is a cone. And for you to determine the center of gravity of a conical shape, which looks like this, the first thing you do, you draw the diameter of this bottom circle like that. Then there, after that, you draw a perpendicular bisector from the bottom of this cone. Then from this end, you draw another perpendicular bisector to the other side of this cone like that, which forms 90 degrees. Then from this end also, you draw another perpendicular bisector, which will form a 90 degrees at that point. So where these bisectors meet here, this will be the C or G of this conical shape. So another shape is a ring. And if you have a ring like this, which has a hole in it, this a ring with a hole at the middle, then now, if you want to determine its center of gravity, then you will construct two diameters. If you construct two diameters where they meet at the middle here, where there is a hole, that will be the center of gravity of that ring. So as you can see, the center of gravity of this ring is inside the hole and it's not part of this ring here. So the other shape that we have is an L-shaped object. So if you have an L-shaped object like this, and you want to determine its center of gravity, the first thing that you do is that you divide this L-shaped object into two rectangles. And since we know how to determine the center of gravity of a rectangle is by constructing diagonals, then we will construct the diagonal for this first rectangle down here like that then where they meet, this will be the center of gravity of this uh, rectangle. Then the other rectangle also, we will construct diagonals, like in this case, like that. And then where these diagonals meet also, this will be the center of gravity for that rectangle. Then in this case, since we have two rectangles, then we will join the two center of gravities of these two uh, rectangles you will join the two center of gravities like this. And in this case, if we join them like that, then we will do a bisection of this angle from the end here. This angle here, we will bisect it. And where now it will meet these center of gravities of these two rectangles, this will be the COG. This will be the COG of this L-shaped object. Then finally, what we have is a rectangular flame. A rectangular flame looks like this. We have a, rectang a rectangle shape like that. And then inside it, there is a hole. And then we have a flame on it like that. So in this case, this is a flame. And inside that other part is a hole. Then for you to find the center of gravity for this one, then you just construct diagonals from this point to the other side like that, and then another diagonal from that point to this side like that. Now, where these two diagonals meet, this will be the C or G of this flame. Now, that marks the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss 
how to determine the center of gravity of irregular objects. 